Howdy guys, how you doing? In this video, I'm going to be styling Kakui Noriaki from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. You do not know how excited I was to get this commission because Kakuin was my favorite character from Part 3 along with Polnareff. So let's get started! For the base, I used an Epic Cosplay Helios in Apple Red. This is where you chime in. Oh, Lissy, isn't that a bit bright to be accurate for Kakuin? To which I reply, Oh, you silly viewer! I'm going to be painting the roots and toning the base with spray paint, so don't you ever fucking question me again! But before I can use any paint or make any cuts, I need to straighten out the edges, so I'm gonna just take a straightening iron and straighten everything out. And now we paint. I mixed around a purpley pink, an orangey pink, and a brown to get this, like, maroon color. You're going to paint the roots of anywhere that there's going to be a spike. The lower layers aren't going to be visible, so there's really no point in painting them. Unless you like wasting your time, then by all means, knock yourself out! Start on the bottommost layer and work your way up. As you're painting, you're going to notice that the color is a bit chalky and much lighter than a darker tone should be on the lighter tone. But, as you remember, paint dries darker. Don't get scared by the chalkiness and make it darker, because what's going to happen is the paint is going to dry black and Kakuin is going to look like one of those busted chicks who have those big ass dark roots because they're too goddamn lazy to get their hair re-dyed. For a gradient effect, I like to soften up the edges of the paint with a damp paper towel. And this is what it should look like. I feel like dyeing roots or coloring with spray paint adds way more dimension to any color. Now for the actual styling part. The first thing I'm going to tackle is his dingly do. Since Araki Sensei is about as consistent as a gas station attendant keeping their bathrooms clean, Kakuin's curl changes sides consistently. I decided to style it on the left because the majority of reference pictures had it on the left side. And you know if anybody gives me crap for not doing it on the right? Well, they're not my real friends anyway. To get the volume you want, you want to heat set the base with a steam gun. Now an iron could work, but to get everything heated up, a steam gun works best. Hold the fibers in an upwards direction until they cool. Once you do that, form the bulge. Do this by making the fibers loop up by pressing them in and then heating the underside. Heat set that. Heat set twisted fibers until you've made a spiral all the way down to the base. And the dingle is done! Just kidding, you gotta hairspray the whole thing. And you thought this wasn't gonna be time consuming. You're adorable. Now if you can see past my double chin, you can see that I am spraying the underside. If you blow dry the underside while standing it straight up, it'll give you the volume you want. Once that is taken care of, all you have to do is hairspray the rest into place. Now the dingle is done. Or is it? Yeah, it is. I'm really lazy. Time for the bangs. Because khaki is a product of the frickin' 80s of all things, we're gonna have to make very fluffy bangs. Heat up the bottom of the roots while holding them upwards. Then lightly hairspray it and blow dry it to hold its shape. You have probably noticed that I haven't cut the bangs yet. And no, it's not because I forgot and I'm making a Sephiroth wig. I mean, I wouldn't put it past myself. But trust me, if you cut the bangs before you add that extra bit of volume, you might accidentally cut them too short and end up looking like Jim Carrey in Dumb and Dumber. When I cut, I cut in an up-down motion to give feathered ends. Ever so gently shape the ends into a triangle and blow dry. Do this with every single bang spike. No, your Mountain Dew wasn't spiked. It was 10 o'clock when I stopped filming the previous night, and in the interim, I got my hair done. So yeah. Consistency? Not really my thing. But I mean, if you're coming here for like, quality, I got some bad news. Oh yeah, cutting hair. To make messy spikes, I like to fan out the fibers and then shape them later. God damn you, 80s. now I do all my shaping. It's kind of hard to describe how I shape, 
But what I usually do is I cup the shape that I want the fiber to be in my hand so it heads held in place, and then I hairspray it. With the bangs done, it is now time for the mullet. Thankfully, the Helios has long layers in the back, so I don't have to do much work besides trimming into, like, a business mullet. <sighs> Kakuin, I'm not angry. I just want to know why. So, just like the bangs, we cut in an up-down motion to avoid choppy edges. Spiking time, yay! I like starting from the top and working my way down. There's really no way to do this quickly. To describe it in a word, tedious. To describe it in more than one word, very tedious. You're pretty much gonna have to layer each spike until you reach the bottom. Oh, would you look at that? It only took five fucking million years. The final step is to shape the mullet. The sides of his hair near the nape of his neck flow downwards towards the very center. Guide the fibers from the side to the center and then down to flow within the mullet. It has just dawned upon me that I have said the word mullet more times in this video than I have said in my entire life. It is so easy not to be like this, Kakuin. So easy. I think it's time for an intervention. Friends don't let friends have mullets. One last step, and my favorite step, painting! Well, more painting! Because Kakyoin's hair color is like a dusty red and Araki Sensei doesn't want me to have nice things in life, we're gonna paint the outside to match that specific color. I am using a light pink spray paint that will offset the red and give it a grayish tone, you guys asked me in my last video what brand it was, as if I keep track of that shit. <laughs> I pretty much just picked out the cheapest shit I could find at Joann's, which is actually Color Tool. Works very well. Highly recommend. Oh, and don't be fooled by the shit lighting. This stuff is not nearly as gray as it appears on camera. I just don't know how to set up a studio. And yet I still make videos. Incredible. And the boy is done! Thank you for joining me on this magical journey through mullets and 80s bangs. I think we've all come out of this a little stronger, a little wiser. Help spread the word. Mullets. Not even once. Goodbye. <laughs>